Hello ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Haven. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last time we managed to get back to fighting the devil and lost again. Let's see if we can keep that streak up, shall we? Going in is Isaac. The win streak keeps lowering, but that's not really a, anything that matters, is it? As long as we get the uh, mom heart kills, we're unlocking stuff. Or eventually unlocking stuff. That first thing we find is a nickel. <laughs> is the game going to show mercy on me? It, the answer is no. The answer is no. So, um, a part of the reason why I'm not terribly concerned about not being able to beat the devil yet is one, it's not really my goal. So I'm not really aiming for that amount of survivability. Two, um, we're gonna have to fight the devil eventually anyway. <laughs> on all the characters, pretty much. So, ooh, hi. A more clever person than I would have been able to uh, rearrange that bomb so it blew up in the middle, but I didn't need the heart pickup. And the next thing we find is a golden poop. Wow, this game really, really wants me to have a lot of money. I'm a little concerned. All right. Careful, careful. Anger, anger flies, and random shooting torsos. All part of this balanced breakfast. That would be the worst cereal ever. It's Little Han. You should fear him. Little Han's just a companion that'll decide to randomly attack enemies and just sort of hover over them and cause them pain until they die. Now, unfortunately, the amount of pain he causes isn't all that great, but a damage up is a damage up at this point. Until we get devil rooms, you don't get a ton of damage ups, really. Larry Jr. Go, Little Haunt, go! Oh, added effect, Little Haunt can cause fear in enemies, which makes them run away from you. Okay, I take it back. Little Haunt, amazing this early, especially against an enemy with multiple damage sections like this one. Remember what I said about the poops? Nothing useful can come of them. At least in a boss room. Well, that's it for me. I'm not gonna waste my only key to go to a shop where I don't have enough for a item if it's not on sale. Ooh, the arcade is tempting, though. You can usually get a net gain from the arcade if you play it right. I don't think I'd be able to play it right at the moment, though. I think you need a trick or two up your sleeve before you can do that. Would really like to get my hands on a soul heart, please, game. No, no, no! Ooh, that was close! That was really, really close to ruining my chances for a devil room. Item room! Forever alone, the attack fly. This can be useful if you use it correctly. It does restrict your movement to a certain degree, though, if you want to use it as, well, an attack fly. Oh, dear. Um, fun fact! Differently colored fires shoot bullets! Alright, I want to be very careful and destroy all these, not just because destroying fires can give you resources, but because I don't want to take damage. There we go. Well, that's the end of you. That was easy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and explore, because I would really love to get my... What's a what's more likely? This room will give me a soul heart, or this room will deal me damage? I think it's more likely it'll deal me damage. Let's go fight the boss and then come back to it. I want to full clear the first floor, at least. Or the second floor, I should say. It's Monstro! Good job, little attack fly. Oh dear! If you can coordinate it in such a way that the attack fly is hitting Monstro and your tears are hitting Monstro, that's actually a really significant damage up. Ah, let the fly do the work. Let the fly do the work. There we go. Whew. Basement Boy achieved. Cool! Basement Boy is achieved by not taking any damage in any of the basement levels. So, I managed to achieve that. Oh no, 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 no! Well, at least it doesn't matter anymore. And they gave me a heart anyway to, to help me. Uh, Blood Clot. Uh, I believe it's only a damage up on the red uh, tiers. But it's a one point damage up, so you can basically consider the blood clot almost a uh, 0.5 damage increase. Because every other tier is one damage higher. It's 
Math. Oh, well, I just got a key. That answers that question, if I should go in the shop or not. Sure, I'll get hive mind. Now all of the flies and spiders we get should be a giant. Also, huh. Mm, it's covered by rocks on every side, so that's probably not a secret room. This probably could be a secret room, though. Let's double check this room. Uh, I don't think so. And we can't enter the arcade anymore. So it's either down here or to the right of the item room is the secret room, and I don't want to look. So one bomb for Tinted Rock, that sounds fair. And we got a soul art for the next level. All right. Ooh, curse room. Let's wait until we get more soul hearts. And yes, I'm specifically going into this room because first, because I want to see more of the floor and apparently take damage. Stupid little poops everywhere. Die, would you? I have a pill. What this pill does? I have no idea. Let's destroy some of these poops for more resources. Even though it's boring to watch. This isn't about your entertainment, this is about my skill. My lack of skill, I should say. Okay, gotta be careful of you. Mmm, careful. Alright. I'm still only slightly better than base damage. Oh dear. Take champions, take champions, take champions. Yes, go my little hunt. Do my work for me. Do more of my work for me. Come on. Come on. Ah, almost. Stupid double health champion. There, finally. That was more dancing than I then should be necessary. Good, good little haunt. Take care of them. Oh, dang. T -t uh, tinted rock. Mr. Mega has appeared in the basement. And two spare hearts. Very cool. Uh, we can definitely go to a curse room now. Wait for the red death to move. Thank you. Not going in the curse room right away, granted. Alright, let's go ahead. No reason to wait. Oh dear. Oh! Well, okay then. Ooh, a bomb. Hmm. I'm gonna need at least one bomb over here. Bombs are key. Mm, I'll keep bombs are key, and we'll grab the liberty cap and move on. So, bombs are key. I probably should explain what that does. Uh, you might have noticed my bombs and my key uh, items swapped. Yeah, you have a pill that somehow turns magically transformed bombs into keys and keys into bombs. Nope. Well, that sucked. Hate bomb flies. Especially when you have things you can't really control as damage. Alright. Item room, finally. Ah, odd mushroom. Little odd mushroom, specifically. Increased fire rate, increased speed. Basically, we're now super fast and super tiny. I don't have any money, and it's not worth it to swap bombs for three coins each. So onward. Let's leave this floor. And fight the boss. With our one soul heart. We should be more than enough, though. Peep! I hate peep. 
Actually, I hate peep when it's, like, the higher level peep that you fight later on <clears throat> in, a, in a room that's awful that starts out with both of its eyes popped out. By the way, peep pops out its eyes as it takes damage. Yeah, and the end, yeah, the, the, the pool of which is probably urine is totally safe to walk on. That's not, though. Glowing urine is awful. Come on. Dependent on my fire rate for damage right now, we've got an angel room. And it gave us the Dead Sea Scrolls, which are probably the worst possible angel room item you could get. Dead Sea Scrolls causes a random book effect, I want to say, but it might just be a random spacebar item effect. Let's see what happens. It, yeah, it's a random spacebar item effect, so I'm pretty sure that is the, uh, the mom's bra item or something that caused fear in all enemies. Die, 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 die. You create way too many spiders. This is unnecessary. Alright, that took care of that. Please give me items. Item room, please. And soul hearts. Soul hearts would be nice. Soul hearts would always be nice. I have no idea what that did. Um, did I just generate a pill? I did just generate a pill. Pheromones! Charms every uh, enemy that gets hit by it. Which is highly useful. I can... That's odd. Why can I see that that's a mini ga uh, mini boss room? Maybe it has something to do with the... Huh. <clears throat> Generates a pill and gave me sight of what's in a room next to me? I don't... Th off the top of my head, I can't think of a spacebar item that specifically does that. Okay, well that generated a card, so that was probably just the card generating spacebar item. Uh the spare deck or whatever it's called. I don't remember. Oh, come on. I took damage from gluttony. Really? And then I get... Of course I did. Ruined my, ruined my devil room, or at this point, angel room chance because, yeah. The angel room is interesting because it's, uh, it, even though... Hmm, how should I put this? If it's more gambling than Devil Room, because you have less chances to get a good item, because it only drops one item or two items, I think, sometimes at a time. No, I'm pretty sure it's one item. And the the Angel Room item pool has a lot of really shit items, but also has really, really good items. So it's more of a gamble to, to, to go with Angel Rooms and Devil Rooms, and Devil Rooms uh, allow much more consistency in decent enough items that you can probably win a fight. Oh, that summoned Monstro to help kill things, so that was Monstro's too. Haha, <laughs> troll bomb, bye. Oh, this room. This room is awful. I have lost devil room chances to this room, specifically, so many times. Just look at it! Look at it! Why would you do this? Especially so early. Like, make this a womb room or something. But not this. Anything but this. Whatever you do, don't wa uh, walk down one of those corridors inside the room for what I hope are obvious reasons. Okay. Let's get this damn key and leave. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, this is a temporary curse. I don't remember what specific item does this. I think it's the nail? Yep, because we can destroy rocks by walking over them. That's the nail effect. One of these spacebar items is going to be awful, like teleports me to a random place, or Masingo, or something awful, 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 and I'm going to regret using the Dead Sea Scrolls. But at this point, it's the only spacebar item I've got. Ooh, 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 ooh. I oh, right, Liberty Cap is what's telling me where things are. Duh. I'm an idiot. It took me way too long to remember that. Thank you for unlocking that pill for me. 
Are you a wizard? Fuck! <laughs> I'm not a wizard. I'm some awful mutant now. No. Upside, that does let you know exactly where all the red tears are gonna go. Downside, you would be better off just, you know, not doing it that way. Alright, actually, I'm gonna use this first because I'm apparently a masochist. Oh, no, there's the mom's bra effect. I, I forgot it would give you a visual effect for when you use it on Isaac. Two of hearts. I don't need two of hearts. I don't need bombs or key either. Let's bring two of hearts just in case things get horrible. But yeah, in case you didn't notice, this item uh, randomly decides to give you a card. And since there are rarely bad card effects, it's good to bring along. Uh, no thank you. Let's get ourselves a free bomb, shall we? Don't want to go to the shop. Go away. Go away. Bad, 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 bad. Alright. Am I safe? Am I safe? I think I'm safe. Okay. This counts as safe. I've already given up my double room chance, so... If I sacrifice two full hearts to you, I can get a lot of money. Then two of hearts to give us some hearts back. Then we blow you up, get some more money, but still not enough. I could have sacrificed more hearts to it and get more money and then gotten the shop though, but I'm apparently far too impatient to do that, even though it totally occurred to me like right as I placed the bomb. I remember that farming those, uh, the those blood banks was a lot bigger in vanilla for some reason, but that might be just because that was like one of the first tricks I learned farming those blood banks for uh, uh, stuff in the game. And yes, I took a ton of damage because I hate them. Sister Maggie, thank you. Let's move on. <laughs> you really need to learn how to fight that enemy flawlessly, though, because eventually you have to fight the devil, and that's only one part of the fight. That's only phase uh, part. That's not even the full phase one. The bomb flies are part of it. Okay, that's an awful idea. And dead. So sometimes you might notice I get even smaller and shoot even faster. That's because my liberty cap is giving me the skinny odd mushroom effect on top of the fact that I have skinny odd mushroom. Hmm. Two golden chests. Probably not worth it. Unless you have something like a contract or something that doubles the output of stuff like that. Doubles the pickups you get. Actually, one bomb for two keys might be worth it. And let's check for a secret room. Oh, well, shouldn't have placed second mom. Especially when that happens. Well done, Haven. Oh, but that no, no, no wait. I don't think it. I don't think you can bomb your way out of a room. One, uh, out of the the combat room. What I was thinking is, since there's a secret room right next to the uh, combat room, or the I don't remember what it's called, challenge room maybe. Okay, strength increases your damage for a room. But um. What you could do is start the combat room by act by taking the items inside, i.e. the golden chest, and then bomb your way out to the secret room so you don't have to do any of the fighting. Uh, let's go ahead and just use this anyway so we start building up charge. Mm-hmm. If we just stay, like, right here, we're relatively safe. Damn it. <laughs> That's what I didn't want to do. Ooh, did, is that a dime? That's totally a dime up there. Go away, quick poops. Nope. That was super risky coming in here to fight him. I haven't ruined my angel room chance yet. I don't remember how many uh, pennies I need. Or how much coin, how many coins, or... 
however you, what terminology you want to specifically use. They're all the same, really. Uh, I don't remember how many you need to unlock a character, but we'll find out eventually. Okay, um, if I put a bomb here, I'll hit the other bomb in that rock and get everything. Ooh, go ahead! Go ahead guarantees that you get a devil room, or in my case, angel room, at the end of every level and keeps it open so you can leave the uh, angel or devil room and come back. Mmm, pill generator, don't need that. Let's keep the coins until I unlock the character, in the hopes that I will unlock the character, I should say. Alright, and uh, also, concussive shots. We now can slow enemies sometimes when we hit them. That's worth it. If for not have for not taking red heart damage for this long and getting this close to the boss, yeah. A key for a spirit heart is worth it. Because I'm probably gonna take damage in this room. Given how good I am at these enemies. If I didn't kill that enemy right when I did, I would have been screwed. Alright, we're gonna go to the boss. Oh no. Really game? Double haunt? Really? That's what you want to do to me? Ow. Oh, right. I should use strength because awful. Everything is awful. No. Ugh. Oh, right. That's my haunt. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it able to be hit? What's going on? <laughs> I took damage. Red heart damage. Everything hurts. I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Hate it, hate it. Okay, so the haunt is one of the enemies you can get in the very first levels of the game, like uh, the first uh, floors, and is widely considered one of the hardest bosses to avoid taking damage on in, in, in the early levels. Double haunt is just equally awful, but it doesn't matter because I forgot I have guaranteed devil and rooms and stuff. Which, by the way, why is it a devil room? Also, Lord of the Pit, Demon Wings. Two hearts for flying, usually not something you might go for. But I like flying. It gives you so much versatility in movement and it's just so useful. I'll take it. Uh, it'll also have the interesting added effect of when you go to a dev uh, when you go to a curse room, because you're flying, you fly right over the spikes once, so you don't take damage from the spikes the first time you go in. You're all awful. I wanted items. I wanted double room items. I wanted something. See, I only took damage on my way out. But there's a heart in this room. And yeah, I'll probably be full clearing this room. All right. Let's test my theory. First, give me a card. Get all of you. Get you. Nope, I need that to go there. Nope, I can't leave. I don't remember if that was in the previous game or I'm just misremembering, but it's good to test it, especially in a room where I have a ton of red hearts on the ground that I can take at any time. Also, I have a ton of extra key keys, so I might as well use them. They're a resource that needs to be used, not hoarded like I'm Scrooge McDuck. More red hearts. Uh, I'll go ahead and fight this room too. Great, it's full of enemies I hate. Haunt, do something. You're gonna be my biggest source of damage in here. Which is kind of sad to say, to be honest. Also, because we have the attack fly, flying makes it a lot easier to keep the damage on the enemies with it. So, that's another reason why flying would be a very good choice for this build so far. Oh, goody. Tears down. Exactly what I needed to... I'm gonna shut up now. Because I'm just... I'm, I'm just... Anytime I get arrogant... Anytime I get arrogant... Give me a heart. Leave me alone. Hate you all. Alright, one more room. I, I do want a full clear. I absolutely want a full clear because any resources I can find are huge. Oop, there's a tinted rock right here. Okay. Well, thanks for that. 
A net gain, I suppose. Alright. Um, nothing I can see useful. Roar in the rest of the room. There are a bunch of skulls, and I should probably take advantage of that. Bye. If an enemy spawns from something that and doesn't close the room off, you can just leave the room and come back in and you'll usually despawn. Ooh, black heart. I'll take it. All right, we already know where the secret room is, so it's kind of pointless to look for it. And the super secret room has way too many options, so we're leaving. Depth two. If it sounds like I desynced my commentary from the game, no, I just, I remembered it was Depths 2 right before the thing came up. So I promise, commentary and everything is synced. I have a specific way to make it work. Woohoo! Unlock Kane! Kane's actually one of my more favorite characters. Uh-huh. Nope, nope, go away. Also, this means I can get that. <laughs> flat Penny, no thank you. Uh, flat Penny. Goody. Makes it so anytime you pick up, I think, a, well, anytime you pick up pennies, you'll or coins in general, you have a chance to also drop a key, so you can pick that up too. Uh, lovers, maybe prospering good health that just drops hearts on the ground. So I'll go ahead and just do that, so I can come back in this room and get hearts if I need to, and bring high priestess with me. Ooh, judgy. Uh, let's bring judgy with me. That way, when I'm guaranteed my devil room, I can go ahead and drop a judgy. And spend some of this useless, useless money. Well, it's not useless, especially since I'm pretty sure there are still shops on this floor. N no, go away. You are the evil haunts, the bad haunts, the haunts that should not exist. He I'm getting lots of resources. I'm not used to this because on my other file, I'm always playing hard mode. I didn't say I win, I said I play hard mode. <laughs> anyway, place bomb right in the middle and we should get all four. And bye. The, the suction, the gravity pull in of those uh, types of enemies, by the way, is stronger the closer you get. That's why you might have noticed me struggling to get out a little bit more as I got closer to it. don't want to go into the big room yet. I guess I do, because this room is pointless. Except for full clear. For resources, which I didn't get. Nope. Having this speed is such a big help. Because I am awful at dodging. Good. Uh, I'll probably keep... Oh, double judgy. Well, because I have the benefit of the go-ahead, I'll be able to go into whatever devil room, angel room, whatever that we get, and then drop a judgy, and then leave, and then drop a judgy. So, let's place a bomb there. Alright, and go ahead. Oh, damn it. It's the mom fight, of course it is. That I won't be able to leave. I'll be able to go to the devil room or angel room or whatever it is, but I won't be able to, to leave to get the other judgment card. Ah, I didn't think of that, so I guess I should have kept my card proc for in here rather than used it right away. Oh well. Live and learn, which is the entire point of this tire. Oh dear, she stomps on me again. I'm dead. Um, please, please don't kill me. Yeah. I'm getting very close to dying in so many different interesting ways. <laughs> I saw that shadow. <laughs> I saw the shadow. Nope. Thank you for hurting things, though. I appreciate it. Nope. Die, please. Yes. If it sounds like my throat is closing in on itself and I can't breathe, don't worry, that's normal. I still think this Lord of the Pit was a good idea. I still stand by that decision. 
probably was a better idea for people who are better at this game than I am, though. <laughs> I'm alive! I'm alive! Guppy's paw! Guppy's paw, Guppy's paw, Guppy's paw, Guppy's paw! Devil beggar! Actually, yes, take all my hearts. I won't need them. That's not what I wanted. That is very much what I wanted. That works for me! Suckers! <laughs> I got an item. It wasn't a devil room item. I guess I'm wrong about that theory. Or maybe it doesn't work in devil rooms. Maybe it works in other very specific rooms. Like maybe... No, I know what it happens. I know why I'm confused. People don't do that because it automatically drops an item. They do it so they can re-roll it as Isaac. And if you re-roll an item in a devil room that is just an item pedestal, then it becomes a devil item, devil room item. That's it. Damn it. All this time, I've been totally wrong about that concept. I can't take advantage of that because in case you haven't noticed, I can't re-roll items as Isaac because I haven't unlocked the item that does it yet. Oh well, we'll get it eventually. I'm pretty sure to get that item, you have to kill Isaac as Blue Baby. Spoilers, eventually you fight Isaac. Spoilers, one of the characters is Blue Baby. I, I I don't care about spoilers. This is it, not in this series. Kind of the entire point is to is to figure out every damn thing about this damn game. All right, anything useful? Ooh, Guppy's head. Now. Remember what I told you about the guppy items and stuff? How, uh... No, oh, actually. Okay, I'm gonna go one more room to get a card out of this. And then I'm gonna go back and get guppy's head. Yes, it's gonna cost me another spirit soul heart. Oh well. But, um, I forgot that I have... What's it called? Uh, the stars. Oops. Right, that just becomes a random teleport. Uh, the stars, I think, is supposed to teleport you to, like, a specific room. I think the item room. But because there's no item room, it just randomly teleported me. That was that's awful. I could have Guppy's head because I have Hive Mind is way more useful. And now I don't have it. Well, I'm right next to the boss. I could fight the boss now. Honestly, going back for the uh, even the Sun card, that's a lot of extra damage I could potentially take. Let's not. Let's let's say this was done. This is serendipity. Haunt, go attack. Haunt, go attack. Haunt, do, do my work for me. Save me, Haunt. Thank you, Haunt. Da 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 da. Dancing size. This is why concussive shots aren't always a good thing. They make the enemy go slower, but they also confuse it. You see. Uh. Oh, come on, stop spawning those enemies. Those are like the worst. Oh well, they're not the mask of infamy, so I guess they could be worse. All right, meat cube. Oh, ooh, ooh, they're my favorite items, the ceremonial robes. Gives you three black hearts and it's a damage up. Nah. Oh yeah, the reason why that one didn't appear at first is because if you approach from the north, you could very easily just fall right into the hole to leave. So they made it so that the the entrance to the next floor can't be entered right away when you come in from the north or somewhere really close to it. It just lets you, uh, it gives you a second to think about it. And doesn't spawn the entrance to the next floor until you're close, uh, far enough away from it that you can make the decision. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, kill the hearts. I'm glad the masks aren't in this room with those hearts because that would be awful. I hate the masks. Alright, so... Neat trick. If you have an orbital, you can just walk into that enemy and kill it with the orbital. And yes, I'm coming in here on purpose. Red poops. I don't know if I've talked about red poops before. Red poops do you damage if you touch them. And if you shoot them and make them go away, they respawn. Yeah, they do some pretty mean things with those later on. Uh, explosive diarrhea, which could be useful. Two clubs, sure, let's double my bombs. 
Joker. Joker automatically teleports you to the double room of the current floor you're in. Ah! No, 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 no. Damn. Explosive diarrhea. Explosive diarrhea. Jokers are more useful. If you're asking why do I have a Joker card when I'm when I clearly can get to the devil room automatically anyway, that's not the point. The point is the Joker card is a reliable teleport that takes you, uh, that lets you teleport exactly where you want to go, and there's certain places where you normally wouldn't get a devil room, no matter what, even with the uh, goat head. So being able to go to that room before uh, before you even fight the boss of that floor gives you more power in case you need it. However, we absolutely don't want to use that on the floor where... Actually... Yeah, we don't want to use that before the mom's heart fight. One, because it would skip mom's heart. And two, because we'd be stuck. Uh, I think we'd be stuck. No, we wouldn't be stuck. Never mind. We wouldn't be stuck in that room. Um, I don't want to use this because I don't have red hearts. But I do want these. I could use more orbitals. Ooh, sure. Since I, I always pick those up, it's the only thing I... Oh, troll bomb. I picked up the uh, soul heart, the spirit hearts, if I only have, like, soul and, and black hearts, because it only attaches it to the very last heart you have. So if you're on your last heart and you take damage that would normally kill your spirit heart, guess what? You're dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'll give it a few more tries. You can get an item called Scatoli that only this guy drops with, uh, well, there's other ways to get it to drop, but usually requires a lot of shenanigans. And I don't have time for shenanigans. All right. Um, probably not the best choice, but let's go left. Die, 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 die. And yes, these are Dingles, bosses from the first uh, two floors. Uh, we've gotten to the point where we'll start fighting bosses as basically just mini enemies, or mini bosses in a way. Which is an interesting, uh, you know, way to show progression that almost every game in existence does, which I like actually. It's one of those tropes that, that exists in video games that I really like. The idea of fighting a boss as a regular enemy later on just to prove how much stronger you've become. Yeah. Probably one of the reasons I like RPGs so much, the whole progression, letting you go back and fight things that were super strong before and kicking their asses. <laughs> I'll use the two of spades just so I can keep the Joker with me. Oh God. I hate it when they protect the stupid laser eyeball behind things. Jerk move. Thankfully I'm so damn fast. Uh, Empress, no thank you. Man, I really underestimated how long these runs could take. I've forgotten that Isaac runs are pretty long. It, I mean, I'm not even getting... They're, they're like two or three floors that I'm not experiencing because I haven't unlocked them yet. All right, what's in here? I don't remember what most of these do. Uh, each one re-rolls a specific one if you stand on the die. I don't remember which one re-rolls what. So we're going to not use them pretty much ever because they can reroll your entire build and make it something awful. They can also reroll the entire floor, which makes you restart the floor. And they can reroll like all the all the items that are on item pedestals on the entire floor. Uh, there's a couple other things they can reroll. New Loki Loki. Loki's a boss, by the way, that we just fought. Mom's heart. Oh, the haunt was perfect, too. It was right on top of her. Go on, go on, haunt. Go on, haunt. Come on, come on, come on. Deal more damage. You really want to be to the left or right and not below. Because the way that the, the rooms are built, you have more room left and right between you and the bullets than you do if you're below the heart. 
If you're below the heart, you would have way less time to dodge, and sometimes you wouldn't be able to dodge without using uh, Orbital because of the way the, the bullets span out. I can do it. <laughs> wow, third run in a row we're going for uh, Sheol. And we got Transcendence. And we unlocked Solar System, a challenge. Uh, challenges are something I haven't done yet, and I will plan on doing them soon. But yeah. Um, Joker card, I will plan to use it before we go fight Satan. Uh, come on, ow. Uh, come on. I just have, like, no damage. I need so much more damage. Like, I have enough damage that it's survivable, but it's not easily survivable. Fighting of Isaac is one of those games where the more damage you have, the way easier it is to survive whatever fight you're in. The Hermit, I believe, takes you to the shop or the secret room, one or the other. Yeah, I'm not going into a cursed room. Not, not when I'm taking this much damage and I need every bit of my hearts to fight the devil. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you w flew away from me. No, no, no. Don't both of you get mad at me. No. <sighs> okay. I'm alive. So that's an improvement. Oh, it's you. Okay. You're not difficult not in the slightest especially if you have enough control over your uh, who you're killing you can tell exactly what enemy is going to spawn where that one did that mask just kind of get stuck in this corner like this it's like ur, 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 ur. i don't know where to go i don't know where to go oh there you are oh god oh god not these hate these hate these so much haunt do my work for me If they are, are they horizontal or vertical in the same line as you, they charge you. That's the big uh, secret, I guess, to their mechanics. No! No, I hate these. These deal me so much damage. It hurts so much. Explode it, explode it, explode it. Yes! No, wrong room, but easy room. Watch me take damage. Almost dead. Killing you, killing you, killing you, because you're the threat. You're the threat in the room. Good. These things are just meant to be random enemies and places you don't want to stand. That's it. Not another hermit, huh? No, no. All right, so the secret room is definitely not to my right. I only got one. Oh, by the way, if if a door is closed and you blow it up, you can totally walk through it. Even if you haven't killed everything in the room. It, that's something to keep in mind if you're ever in a room that just really, really sucks. No! Wrath the Devil, good news. Bad news. I have a single heart and I'm probably going to die before I get there. Alright, hold on. You die. You're too much of a headache. That should have been my top priority when I entered this room. Alright, Joker card. Brimstone! But it would kill me. Yay! <sighs> Fuck it. Third time's the charm, right? Damn it! I've ruined that timing every single time, too. Nope. 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 See? See, I'm, I'm the greatest Isaac player. 
The greatest! Okay, explode. Oh, I was expecting you to do the brimstone thingy, but that works too. Mm. No, please blow up! Please, why are, you, why are you running forever? Why are you running for days? Did my status of... I think concussive shot may have bugged him out. Oh well, learn something new every day. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you folks.